issues. So as we know, presently we are discussing uh, interconversion of uh, states of matter. So if you notice it, so what do you mean by the interconversion of states of matter? Everybody converting from so it, solid to liquid, or liquid to gas, again back to so gas, gas to liquid, liquid and liquid to solid, or directly from solid to gas, or gas to solid. Gas to solid. So that is what by increasing temperature or by decreasing temperature. That is why commonly we can say by change in temperature, by change in temperature, we can change the state of a matter. So that is only called as, we used to call it as what? Everybody? Interconversion of states of matter. Is it okay, everybody? No. So we know that only two things will affect the interconversion of states of matter, which we already studied in our last class. Temperature and pressure. One is temperature. Another one is what? Everybody? Pressure. Is pressure. So presently, as we are discussing, effect of effect of effect of change of temperature. Change of temperature. So effect of the change of temperature, if you have taken all of you see that. So first, first process. What is the first process we're studying because of temperature melting. change? What is the process we used to call? Everybody. Melting. melting. Sir, no. So melting also called as what? Yesterday I have taught you. Melting also known as fusion. fusion. Okay. So now, if you see that, so melting means the change of state from which state to which state, guys? Change of state from solid to Solid to liquid. Solid to liquid at what temperature, everybody? At a fixed temperature. At a fixed temperature is only called as melting. So now we know that what is happening here, what is the reason behind, let us discuss now. So how, sir, whenever the temperature is at a fixed temperature, so how that solid is converting into liquid, let us discuss now. So that is what we used to call it as cause of melting. So we all people know uh, very well by increasing temperature, something is increases for the particles. Anyone of you? Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Very good. Who is that? Agalya? Oh, Lakshana. I think. Okay. So cause of melting. If you see that, the, if the temperature increases, we all know, so I'll write temp only. If the temperature increases, so what is increases, guys, everybody? The and kinetic and energy of the particles increases. So kinetic energy of the particles increases. Particles will go for each other or come closer. All of you. Particles will go star. each other. Understand? So they will go for each other means they will overcome the intermolecular attraction or not? Everybody. Yes, the force sir. of attraction. Yes. So as soon force as the attraction reduces. Yes. The kinetic energy also increases. So at certain level, when it overcomes the, what it will overcome? Everybody. Agalya. Overcomes the force of attraction. Force of attraction. That force of attraction we used to call something. What we used to call everybody? Intermolecular attraction or intermolecular force of attraction of what particles we are converting now, everybody? Of solid particles. Clear? So the particles will start moving freely. So whenever the particles will start moving freely, we used to call it, it is converting into solid state to what state? Everybody. Particles are started moving freely means that the solid is converting into what state guys all of you yes please liquid converting into liquid state that is what you have to remember so whenever the particles mr lingesh what is happening you are makeuping uh, my screen uh. please erase this what happened okay so if you notice it here very carefully Mr. Linges, erase this, otherwise it will never, I cannot erase. You have to only erase it. So whenever you see that, whenever the heating temperature is increases, the particles of a solid, they will gain the more and more and more kinetic energy. So slowly they will start moving for each other. Means they will overcome the what guys? They will overcome the intermolecular force of attraction. 
so that at this condition they will becomes like a liquid state and slowly the entire solid at a fixed temperature entire solid converting into what guys everybody entire solid is converting into liquid so this is only we used to call as what process we used to say everyone we used to call as melting understand ma can you hear me everybody all of you so we can see on heating the closed packing is changed into what guys solids are closed packing and on heating closed packing is changes into what everybody respond ra loose packing so that loose packing only we used to call it as what why nobody is responding okay we will stop the class today tomorrow we'll see that let it be no problem okay nobody is what is use that is what you have to remember it oh, no issues lingesh please erase this that's what i am asking i cannot erase it you only can erase okay ra everybody understand now yes. yeah now you can see all of you as it said this melting is not takes place for every substance at the same temperature yes or no guys different substances will melt at the different temperature for example last yesterday itself i told you ice will melt into water liquid water at what temperature everybody at 4 degrees celsius 0 degree celsius Ma mari at 4 degree celsius it will attain the maximum density mari okay that is what so if we take for example sodium metal you all know sodium metal what is the symbol of sodium na so yeah. basically it will melt at 97 degree celsius if you put 97 degrees in temperature it will start melting into liquid sodium is it okay guys liquid sodium so different metals will melt to liquid state at a particular temperature that temperature only we is to call melting point what we is to call all of you melting point we is to known as melting point okay but here something is constant have you remembered anything mari anyone agalya alfin no response you get out yeah. meeting i don't care about a person 10th or 9th doesn't matter who is involving in the class only i care otherwise you can get out happily enjoy i never want anybody so melting point melting point in the sense of different substances will melt into liquid state at a particular temperature so that particular point only we is to called as melting point so when i am talking about temperature now here it will all will takes place at another thing is constant what is that anybody sir the degree celsius that Not unit is mari pressure mari pressure will be constant because by changing pressure also i can change the state by changing temperature also i can change the state if i am changing it by temperature then what about the pressure pressure is not affecting do you understand what i am saying yes sir yes so that is what we is to called as melting point so if your pressure is if your pressure is not constant then even the temperatures also will changes yes or no everybody all of you yes sir, yes, sir. write it yes. the temperature melting point the temperature the temperature at which any solid at which at which any solid any solid substance mr lingesh it is not possible to erase or not solid substance melts melts and changes into liquid changes into liquid at atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure i taught you what is atmospheric pressure value anybody can tell i teach you already 10 power 5 pascals 10 power 5 pascals or we can say 1 atm 1 atm that is what atmospheric pressure okay atmospheric pressure is called is called it's what point everybody its point we is to called as melting point so that is what you have to remember any doubt anybody can ask okay lingesh leave it no issues sure. all of you understood ah yes please understand so once the temperature will reaches to the melting point 
what will happen guys everybody the force of attraction between the particles decreases or increases everyone decreases decreases so that is the interesting thing you have to remember all of you as soon as the temperature rises to the melting point all of you keep it in mind now i am saying you this is the fact what is the cause of cause of melting so for example i am having a some solid substance let me take solid means what is that guys particles are closely packed or loosely packed particles are closely packed, packed or loosely packed, packed. packed. Closely so packed. as when i when i keep on heating all of you observe very carefully when i keep on heating so temperature is rising temperature is rising temperature is rising 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 now at certain time period after after time t after time t interval of time the temperature reaches to the melting point temperature reaches to the what point everybody melting, melting point, point. So, at this point what will happen you know guys the force of attraction between the particles becomes weak the force of attraction what force we used to called as that is intermolecular force understand intermolecular. The force of attraction okay between the particles of what particles of solid or particles of liquid particles, particles of solid solid becomes weak and that force is equals to what force of attraction in liquid state understand mari which is equals to okay everybody that force yes. becomes yes, weak sir. and that is equals to what that is equals to the force of attraction of the liquid yeah. state liquid state when the same substance when it is in liquid state whatever the force is present it will the force is reduced to that level that is why it will converting into what state everybody the force of attraction is decreases so it will converting into what state all of you it will converting into liquid, liquid state that is the cause of cause of melting understand mr nivedan everybody yes. all of you yes, yes sir that is what now different substances having different melting point or uh, same melting point everybody different sir melting. different melting point what is the cause anyone can tell what is the cause why the because of its uh, melting point at which temperature it uh, melts sir no no what is the reason what makes the melting point different for different substances any one of you be smart and answer sure the Wait. close tightly packed particles of course all the solids are tightly packed only that doesn't matter still something more generalized answer is sir, according to the atmospheric pressure no 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 something think you know the answer people answer density. is density not density little bit more scientifically you think the what pressure. makes the substances different melting points one and only thing between the particles the something is present what is that force intermolecular force. force intermolecular force that is what is the scientific answer what makes the substances having different melting point because different substances is having different force of attraction or same force of attraction everybody different force of attraction different force of attraction that is why they are having different melting point do you all understand everybody all of you clear please yes, sir so for example yes. let me take even i will take wax enga theriyuma ellame candle wax theriyuma all of you so candle wax is having low melting point compared to the salt if you take salt what is the salt formula nacl common salt common salt understanding so common salt yes. having very very high melting point wax is having very very low melting point so who is having more force of attraction everybody common salt common salt understanding so common salt the force of attraction is very very high if you want you are having in the presence of your mother or father you can try this try to try to take uh, one spoon of wax if you are having a wax candle or something and take one spoon of common salt just to hold it in the gas stove you can see when the temperature reaches if you are having a thermometer also you can measure when when the temperature reaches to the wax like you can take a wax at 63 degree celsius it will start melting into understand everybody understood ra so the the melting point of pure wax if it is a pure wax uh, at at 63 degree celsius it will converting into what state everybody 
it will convert again to liquid state. Tell me, Tari Mama. Yes, please. All of you. That's one, Ra. But if you take the common salt, understand? The common salt melting point is extremely high because it is having more force of attraction or less force of attraction. Everybody? More force of attraction. More force, force of, of attraction. attraction. Okay. So, the point, the temperature of melting point of NaCl is approximately 800 degrees Celsius. So, how much it is? Perfectly, it is 801 degrees Celsius. Is it okay, guys? Understand it? So, it is higher now. Why it is this much? This is just 63 and this is 800. So, what is that? Approximately, how many times it is more? 800 divided by 63, if you make it, almost 12 times, almost 13 times. times, almost 13 times, approximately, the melting point of NaCl high. What makes this? Anybody can tell. What makes the melting point of force of attraction energy? between them? Force yes, force of attraction between the particles is very high. That is only makes the salt high melting point. Is it okay, guys? This much clear, nobody can. I am explaining you. Have you understood or not, Mr. Gokul Ras? Nimedan, Purima. Understand? So please note that point. Different substances have different melting points. What makes that different melting point? Everybody? Different the force of attraction. Of attraction. Yes. yes. Different substances have different different melting point melting points due to the what? Everybody? Due to different forces of all of you. Different forces of attraction. attraction. Okay, Ma. Shivani understood. Ah. Sangamitrai. Yes, sir. Yeah, among their particles. Yes, example, what is the example you will write? Mr. Kishore, Mr. Lingesh, what is the example you will write? Wax and salt. And, uh, yeah. Wax and salt. You can wax. perform this activity also if your, if your parents will allow, if they are with you. You can try. Nothing wrong, but be follow follow the safety measures always. Mr. Sam, late. Gokul Raj, late. Mr. Gokul Raj, Allah, Purima, Gokul Raj, Kishore. That is what. So what is the cause of melting, everybody? What is the cause of melting? Because when the temperature increases, what will happen? Temperature yeah, increases. Kinetic energy, the kinetic the energy increases. And at particular temperature, what it will decrease? Sir, Force the intermolecular particle force attraction of decreases. Force of attraction will decrease. And it will the force of attraction will be equal to what? The force of attraction yeah. will be equal to the Force of attraction liquid in liquid state. state of force force of, attraction. of attraction in liquid state. That is what you have to remember. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? Yeah. I love you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. That is what you have to remember. Is it okay, guys? Yes? Yes. Now, I want to teach you an important thing now. It will make you very curious. You can check it. I love you. I used to say, at a time, you, you might be all know it. That is what we used to call it as a triple point of water. What we used to call it? Everybody? Triple, triple point, point of water. Okay. Triple point of water. So what is that means? Observe. At a particular temperature. At a particular temperature. Okay. All the three states of matter is existed. All the T-H-E-R-E. -E, yeah. T-H-R-E. Three states of matter is existed. Can you tell me? Anybody what temperature it will be? Yes. T-H-R-E. -E. Three, three states of matter. Three states of matter coexist. So that point only what we used to call it. All the at particular temperature, understanding at particular temperature, all the three states of matter. Yeah, like sublimation. No. Triple point of water, Mari. This matter means water. Be careful. At particular temperature, all three states of water is coexisted. That point only what we used to call. It. Everybody? What is that point we used to call? It? Triple point of water. Triple point of water. Purema, sir, let me see at what temperature. Be very careful. Evaporation is a natural process. Yes, sir, no, Mari? Lingesh, evaporation is a natural process which will, which will be like converting liquid state into gaseous state by what? By the atmosphere. Is it right or wrong? Atmosphere. Natural process it is. Okay? So, if you notice it at 0 degree Celsius, all of you remember, at 0 degree Celsius, okay, 
some some amount of liquid water will be converting into what it will start converting into what everybody respond guys it will start converting into solid and of course at any temperature evaporation will takes place at any temperature evaporation is not fixed temperature any temperature so some liquid will be converting into what state gaseous state so at 0 degree celsius all the three states of matter will be coexisted understand that is why this point we is to called as what point we is to call everybody yes sir at the same temperature yes um, all, all the three, three states, states of matter, water water is existed that is why that point is called as triple point of water understand so only is possible in water sir yes sir only it's possible in water sir yeah but some substances is existed but only water is very popular that is why i'm saying okay mari yes sir yeah understood sir yeah. it can take place in other uh, temperature also no sir other temperatures only only so for example see if i take 0 to 100 degree celsius only liquid state and gaseous state is present because liquid state is converting into gaseous state understand mari yes sir understanding no solid state is present above zero above zero if you come then fully it is liquid state and liquid state is converting into at 100 degree celsius till c i will i will make it how it will be possible all of you you, you can write the first point so what at a triple point of water write it the temperature at which all the three states of water the temperature at which all the three states of water the temperature at which all the three states of water water coexist is called coexist is called coexist is called what what was to call everybody what was to call yes please what was to call Hello, triple point triple of water point. triple point of water yeah let it be now so let us discuss now. I will draw the graph. Everybody check it. So this is the temperature graph and this is a pressure graph. Okay, wow. Allah me purima. Temperature versus uh, pressure. Yes, Ra. Respond, everyone. So now, if yes, you know this, so first let me take. I will draw a graph. How it will be? Check it, everyone. So the graph will be like this. So this is the point. What is the point we used to call? That point only we used to call. Just now I told. Triple point of water. Okay, everybody. So observe very carefully. Some amount of water, that is what, suppose this is what ice we have. Understand, Mari? Ice means what? What is that actually? Solid. Correct? Solid. Solid. Now, ice is converting into liquid. Means in the sense of, it will converting into what? Water. Is it right or wrong? Yes or no? So on this line, on this line, fully it is what is present. Everybody check it. Ice is converting into water. So that is what liquid it is. It is converting into liquid. So in this full line, it is present uh, solid to liquid. Is it okay, guys? Respond, Ra. Solid to liquid. Now, this is the line which we used to represent, which is converting from liquid to gas. Understanding? Liquid to what? All of you? Liquid to gas. Now, that's this point to this point, fully it is present liquid to gas only. Okay, so once the temperature reaches to the boiling point, we all know. So what is the boiling point of water? All of you, 100, 100 degrees. degrees. Yes. So degrees. it will converting into what? Liquid to gaseous state. Now, this is the line where directly water, some amount of water, I told you, it will evaporate. Yes or no, guys? Everybody? All of you? Yes, so that is what directly solid to gas. That is what we can say water vapor. Water vapor. Now, at this point, if you notice it, at this point, junction, all the three states of matter is existed. Here only solid to gas, here only solid to liquid, and here only liquid to gas. But at this point, here what is present? Solid. Here what is present? Liquid. Here what is present? Everybody. What is present? Gas. Yeah. Understand it? So that point only, what temperature it is? Everybody. The temperature only we used to zero call that Celsius. zero degree Celsius. Understanding that is only called as what? All of you, triple point of water. Okay. Remember, evaporation is a process. Evaporation is a process which will take place at all the temperatures. 
Okay, da. Yes, press pawn, please. Evaporation is the process converting yes, directly into gaseous state, which will take place at what temperatures? Every temperature. Purema. Understand? So, that? Yes, ma'am. First of all, it will be in solid state, then it will change into liquid and gas, sir. Yeah, some solid also directly into that is what we can say, like sublimation also. Directly, Mari, all the states of matter is existed. Some yes, amount. Sir. Understanding? Purima. Yes, sir. That is only we can say triple point of all. Okay, wa. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what you have to remember. Any doubt you can ask. Okay. So triple point of water means you have to remember that. So at this particular temperature, all the three states of matter is existed. That is only we can call as triple point of water. Okay, guys. Everybody clear? Huh? Understood? Huh? So now we know that what is the melting point of water? Melting point of ice. Melting point of ice is how much, guys? Zero degrees Celsius. Zero Same degrees. Way. What is the freezing point of water? Can you tell me what is the freezing point of water? At what temperature water will be turns into solid? Zero degrees Celsius only. So you all should remember this is a very important thing. For a particular substance, always the melting point of substance is equal to what? Everybody? Freezing, freezing point. point of a substance. Always equal. Understand, Sivani? Please write that point. Sir. Yeah. On doubt, sir. Then yes. you told uh, uh, common salt is 90 Hg. 8 one, not, uh, yeah. 8 not 1 degree Celsius, you told, sir. Melting yeah. point. Then the freezing point will be? Till that it will be. Till that it will be 0, 0 on uh, that the same temperature only. Correct, Mari? If the temperature is below, less than that, it will be in a solid state. Yes or no? Yes, sir. See, more than that, greater than this one, it will turn into what? Liquid state. Less than this one, it will turn into what state? Solid state. That's all. It will be still in solid state, correct? Yes, sir. That is what you have to do. Okay, wa? Yes. Sir. Understand, Mari? Yes, sir. Hmm. Always you remember for any substance, the melting and freezing points are always what? Same for a given matter. Please write that point also. Very, very important. Elame Purima Nata. Understood, ma? Clear, everybody? Melting and freezing points. Freezing points are... So the values important. will be only, no, sir, same. Yeah, values the only. Definition will not be same, no, sir. No, no definition is same. Given matter. For given matter, always the solid, that is what? Solid to liquid and liquid to solid. Solid to liquid melting point. Liquid to solid, which to call as what point? Everybody. Freezing point. So both are always equal. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? Agalya, Alfin. That is what you have to remember it. Okay? So please write it. So at what temperature water is existed all the three states? Everybody? Zero degrees Celsius. Zero degrees Celsius. Write it. Write it. Any doubt, you can ask me. Sure. Yeah. So can you please uh, move it down, sir? Yeah. So then the freezing point of pure wax is 63 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Melting point. Pure wax. If it is uh, reverse less than that, it will turn into what again? Freezing point. Freezing point. That is what. Clear? But you told that melting point and freezing point is equal. Oh, both are equal. Less than that, it will be converting into solid. Uh, more than that, it will converting into C. Shivani, uh, suppose if I take 63 degrees for wax, okay? So at this temperature, some solid also present and some solid will be converting into what? Liquid also. Purima, understanding? And yes, sir. if you decrease the temperature, for example, 100 degrees temperature I have, I come, I come to 64, 63. Now, 63, still some, some liquid wax also present and some wax will be converting into what? Solid. So it will take some time, correct, uh, Shivani? That is what it is. Understood? Uh? Yes, sir. Clear? Uh? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what. Please write it. Clear, guys, everybody? 
is uh, Understood? So you have to do the activity. What is the activity? How to do it? Yes, please. You can melt the wax you and the wax 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 wax. if you want, you can. If you're not, not possible, leave it. That's fine. Okay, you can find it. Okay. So let us finish it now. Significance of melting point. Very, very important. What is the importance of a melting point? Significance of melting point. Okay. So that is what uh, let us discuss first thing. So now, if you don't, if you know the melting point, something we can come to know. Suppose salt and wax, what it will tells you? Salt is 801 degrees Celsius and wax is what it is. Anybody? Wax is 63, 63 degrees Celsius. Celsius. So what will makes you? What it will tell you? Anybody can tell? It is telling something to you guys. It is giving some information. What it is giving? That is the significance of melting point. What is that? Anybody's? It will, tells you, it will tell you, yeah, for, st for strength of force of attraction. Understanding, uh, everybody? Clear? Uh? So that is the first importance to know the what? Significance of melting point. To know, everybody, to know the strength, strength of, of S T R E N G T H. Strength of force of attraction. Strength of force of attraction. So by seeing the melting point, we can estimate either the particles are very closely packed, like force of attraction is very high or low. Is it right or wrong, everybody? Yes, yes sir. That is the importance one. Any doubt, guys? Clear? Second one. Now, I told you, what is a pure wax? What is the melting point of pure wax? Yes, please. 63 degrees Celsius. 63 degrees Celsius. For example, Mr. Mr. Nivedan having a wax, who is having melting point is 80 degrees. Then is it a pure wax or not? Everybody? No, sir. No. no sir. For example, Mr. Kishore is having a wax who, which will melt at 40 degrees Celsius itself. So is it a pure wax or not? No, sir. It no. helps to yes, check the that pure is and impure yeah. substance. To check the purity. Second one. To check the purity. So melting point always will give you what? To check the purity understanding everybody yes please so this is the yes, significance sir. of significance of uh, mercury uh, significance of melting point so please all of you note it down any doubt you can ask clear guys